I'm I'm more of a fan of that. Yeah. Then you get down to the cod piece and you're just like, what? But those uh, are guys. Cod. cod pieces. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. Male adornments. I like to cast heat metal. Where? On the cod piece. <laughs> Octo, why? Ah, uh, yes. I see you're trying to make breakfast this morning. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, so eggs. your alignment has shifted one towards sausage. evil, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Some uh, hard-boiled egg with sausage. Ah, uh, the authentic German breakfast. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the stream. We, I am Ebby, and we are joined by Kyo, Mace, and Sume. We have been gone since September. We're sorry about that. It's this thing, it's this thing called real life. And the fact that we like doing things. <laughs> or just things just happen that we can't help. Like now I have to call the plumbers again because I my sink faucet it has a drip that was not there before they came in. And I was told to hmm. call them so they can fix it. It is a slow drip, but it's a drip that shouldn't exist. Drip. Is it pressure like a drip, drip, drip that never stops? Uh, drip. No, it's more like what Sumo is currently doing. Drip. Whoa. Drip. You sound like a frog croaking. Yeah, that sort of loses its meaning after the third time. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so let's get to it, shall we? It's been so long. All right, the last left off, uh, our heroes were still exploring the Badlands, found some stairs, got jumped by not one, not two, but four very unfortunate shadow demons as they just got deleted by all the radiant damage the party was throwing out at them. You're not in here with that. You're We're not in here with you. Me. You're in here with us. You're not trapped in here with me. You're, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Medicine and yeah, present. it it was. They ain't coming back to this plane anytime soon. They wish to. They're rethinking their lives right now. That was a crappy contract they had. <laughs> Um, after that, the party decided to head back to one of the watchtowers to, uh, take a long rest, which might be good or might be bad. Who knows? Well, if the school explodes while we're taking a long rest. Well, it was meant to be. Yep. Should have hired some better teachers and caretakers. Definitely. Yeah. If you're getting your school saved by a bunch of students... Might want to rethink some of the staffing uh, at that school. I mean, it's just Hogwarts tradition at this point. <sighs> Look, uh, listen, you, right. you guys have already have heard my thoughts and feelings on Strixhaven. Oh, yeah. I want to strangle this module. No, oh, joy, I get it. it so. Believe you me, I get it. Well, see, here's the fake base. At least with the Rick and Morty, it gives you stuff. Eh. This is the opposite. Yeah. It's good when you can use the stuff, though, and not TPK your party. <sighs> Anyways, so who wants first watch? Uh, if you let me take a little rest first, I'll be back to full, and I can keep a watch. Well, you two, for a little while. I have no qualms with that. Uh, I'll I take... watch. By the way, who has dark vision? I do. I do. Wait, wait. Do I have dark vision? I think I do. I think you I... have better than dark vision. Oh, yes, I have devil sight. <laughs> That's right. 
That came up last session, if I'm not mistaken. Because we were comparing our special eyes. Yeah, how special our eyes are. Kyo is super special, and honestly, Kyo can actually give dark vision to someone. Yeah, it can. I think who here has dark vision? Wait a second. Dark vision. <laughs> now all of us. Dark vision. For when you need to navigate the bowels of a nuclear vessel. Hmm. So who's on first watch? Who's I on first? Me. So Eco is first watch? Yeah. Our smaller than expected bird friend. No, they're medium size. They're exactly four foot and one inch. Yeah. No, they're four foot yeah. point oh 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 one inch. Uh, yes. Pretty much. If you look at it, the right angle, it spells out LOL. <laughs> Alright, you could give me a perception check, please. What? I haven't played this in so long, I wanted to type slash perception. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've played a little more 14 again, so... Not bad. Not bad. I mean, you're better than I will probably do. Alright. Uh, your giant elk and dire wolf are... Hi hiding behind the watchtower, just for safety's sake. Giant elk is getting all upset because all the grass is dead. Pretty much. And the wolf is... I and the elf. Elk, rather. <laughs> the elf. <laughs> oh no! What elf? The forgotten, Wait a second. The forgotten fourth party member. Wait, we're dealing with a false hydra. <laughs> Wait, that student wasn't with us just a second ago. Where did of the course elf he come was. from? Don't you know, elf student number four, NPC number four. I thought you were talking yeah, about yeah, the, fourth. the elf. Don't you? Yeah, remember? you know. Elephants. I thought you were talking about the uh, fourth party member in DOS 2. Fire. Fire! <laughs> One day we'll go back to that. Probably after BG. We'll, have, we'll probably have to restart because we won't remember anything. Nah. And it might be more fair to you guys considering my character is broken beyond belief. Oh, we'll break no, him again. No, we must <laughs> stay broken. <laughs> I think I know how to replicate that. <laughs> it's... In, in all seriousness, I really don't want to cast your DOS 2 again. Mm -hmm. Let's worry about that after we finish BG3 in two years. Yeah, who knows? Alright, so Eco, you cast a falcon gaze across the Badlands, seeing trails and mountains. It, it's boring. It's awful. It's bland. Boring. Nothing is amiss. Pity their falcon punch does no damage. Although I think they can add bless strikes to that, can't they? I don't think blessed strikes work on unarmed strikes in this version. Aww. I think it has to be a weapon attack. Eco has talons. All right. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. He can't. He might not be able to punch, but he can claw out some nasty gouges. I can just punch with claws. That's a falcon kick. Yes. I mean, I, I do have hands. I think they have talons too. But uh, your watch goes just dandy, Eco. Nice. Who would you like to wake up next? Uh, Yosef said he can take the next watch, I th think. Indeed. Alright, you wake up, Yosef. <clears> hmm. <throat> Also, for the prepared spellcasters, this is a good time to switch out your spells. Looks at the cleric. Time for your watch, yourself. Sh sure. Uh, rest well. I'll wake you. I'll wake you. 
Gulliver in a little while. Yes. All right, Yosef, give me a perception check. Actually, before I get too deep into the watch, I will summon Faye, and I do have a cookie for them. <laughs> cookie sword of Faye. Okay, what Faye are you summoning? Uh, let's see. No, which one was it? I want to do the one that does squares of darkness, which I think is Trixie. Trixie. All right. What does your Fae look like? Because it's not Oberon. Obviously. Uh... Just like a short girl with weird hair. Just the weirdest hair. Multicolored, just sort of styled in all directions. Here, I'll give you the pixie token. That'll work. And they do not have a fly speed. Uh, if you'll help me keep a lookout, that'd be great. Roger, roger. Mm. All right, so I guess roll of perception for both you and your uh, fate companion. Let's see. Their perception looks like plus zero, and mine is plus zero, so. Let's go not seeing things, friends. Hmm. Yay, not seeing things, friends. They last for an hour. Well, as you are looking around, the moon brightly lit lighting the sky makes it easy to see. All of a sudden, the light hits something metallic as you hear some clopping. <sighs> Going past your watchtower, and you see a bright, shiny metal bull. Uh, what is. Oh boy. At least it's not sneaky. And it wanders off towards the northwest. <laughs> we'll be in our yeah. check if you want to know what that thing is. <clears throat> Go! I'm slightly better at this one. 18. Hey. Uh, that is a Gorgon. <laughs> a very dangerous monster that is made out of is a steel bull that likes to petrify its enemies. Oh! With its breath. No. They are tough. And hopefully it ain't hungry. Uh, I better make sure they know about this. And so ends your watch. It very, my Fay is gone, but I will wake Gulliver. I'll just keep him off the side of the map in case he uses spell again. I probably will. In fact, I can use it at sixth level thanks to a certain something. <clears throat> oh, 
Gorgon. There's a Gorgon out there. Was the Gorgons covered in our glass? This big metal bull. That's say yes. Breath. Okay. Scary. Scary thing. Far from ideal in this situation. Looks at stats. Oh yeah, it real scary. What's the play? Are we staying put for now then? It didn't seem to notice us or check the tower. It obviously can't climb the ladder. So, as long as we're quiet, I think we're safe to finish resting. I'll remain on alert. We can talk with Eco in the morning. Visions of Bulfango. Very well. <clears throat> and I will go to finish my long rest. All right, go. Over, give me a perception. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> All right, you decide to do some weapon maintenance, and you got super focused into that instead. Uh, you have advantage, and you rolled a four and a three. You rolled a three and a two. Oof. And yep. uh, next thing you know, as the sun comes out, you hear a poof next to Eco as their animal that they had summoned disappears, and the uh, giant elk and dire wolf also go poof poof. Well, glad that the Gorgon didn't take interest in those two. I don't believe anything too big happened while you two were asleep. I thought we were still asleep. You can wake him up if you want. Was it long enough for them to have a proper long rest? Yeah. All right. Wakey, wakey. We have work to do. I have hit the long rest button. Pray I do not hit it again. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so all HP is reset. Spell slots come back. Um, your once a day abilities come back. <laughs> Smite slots come back online. Uh, so guys, what would you like to do? Finish it. Yeah. There's a Gorgon down there. A what? Big metal bull. Breathe petrification gas. Turns Can you into a statue it? and then eats you. Yes, if opens his mouth. That might be useful. Raises a finger. Lowers finger. Just shakes his head. Oh, sorry for that. I was reading over a spell. I didn't mean to actually focus that. Uh... Sad. Can you tame a Gorgon? Hard. No. <laughs> Most beings Can that encounter most beings that encounter a Gorgon usually don't survive their first encounter. Can we befriend a Gorgon? What about their second encounter? <laughs> <laughs> they don't have a second what about encounter. Second encounter. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or elevensies. Can you befriend a Gorgon? <laughs> Looks at its stats. Uh, I'm going to say no. Does like, it count as an animal? <laughs> it is no. not an animal. This is a monstrosity. Its int is not high. Yeah, it's a two. <laughs> but does it understand language? 
damage. It does not. No. <laughs> Damn. And you that can't works. speak with animals, so. Yeah. Sorry, Keo. That means commands out the window for that too, because yeah, at thinking. least for this edition, they the, revised that in 2024. The best thing I could potentially say is, is that you could probably give it food, but it could still potentially be bad news for you guys. To be fair, the food it gets is uh, the people it petrifies. So it eats stone. Organic stone. Freshly sourced stone. Made by it. I mean, it sounds pretty self-sufficient. When it gets hungry, it smashes its petrified prey to rubble and uses its strong teeth to grind the stone into a powder that provides nourishment. Yummy. I'd say uh, it sounds pretty eco-friendly, but it doesn't sound very friendly to eco. <laughs> Mean to all of us. Yeah, I threw one at the uh, online group, but it was a lot different in terms of how it functioned. Yeah, it was <laughs> more of a construct, I think. Mm -hmm. If we're lucky, we can avoid it. Yos leans out and looks back and forth. You see no silvery ball. It's very noisy, so we should hear it coming. Well, if we can hide, might be another question. I even heard it coming, and you know how terrible I am at noticing things. Especially social cues. You're getting better. Just to show you what it looks like, you know. In the bestiary channel. It's cool. So guys, you have uh, the option of exploring the Badlands completely, or saying screw it and go down the stairs that you found. That was being protected by four shadow demons. It or we can go in this tunnel here. That looks friendly. What, Kyo? It does look friendly. I, 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 the I like it. Hmm. Define friendly. I don't know. Like, you could put it in a stable and just have a metal cow that might or might not petrify everyone who comes too close, but a metal cow or bull, but yeah. It's definitely not a cow. I'll yeah. climb down. And then just imagine having that as a, as a pet to ride on. I mean, that wasn't the unexpected season one. Gulliver then will climb down himself. But that's a completely different game run by someone completely different than me. If you're not comfortable with it, Yosef, I can take point. I don't mind. I just hope I don't get turned to stone. Because I don't know if either of you can help with that. I'm sure the cleric has greater restoration in it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure I do. Got the material cost for that? You know the big question have on do I have it prepared? The answer is probably not. The answer is just no. Well we're not here to stop a Gorgon. So we should probably stick to that cave. We can continue on the upper level or head for the lower levels. I'd be surprised if what we're looking for isn't down in the lower level. But I don't know if there's anything useful in the upper levels. 
What upper so, levels are you talking about? I'm trying to get some. Uh... Basically, this is a passageway, right? Yes. Or we could continue up that I passageway. I just wanted to. Or we could go down these stairs. You did say they go down, right? Yep. Okay. Iku can make someone sick as long as it's not Gulliver. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Pal Paladins, Im immune to contagion. You're not going to catch me off guard with sickness with catching those frogs. Of course, Eco would use contagion and just give someone a cold. <laughs> just give, just the stuffy nose to the, annoy people. Gives the teacher a cold so that they have to miss out on the uh, exam. <laughs> And then you have a substitute for the exam. Yeah. Who's less likely to notice you cheating? Just giving the whole, the whole, whole, all of Strixhaven a cold. Honestly, it just, it says inflicts disease, but it makes you poison. So Belver can still be poisoned. He's just immune to the disease afterwards. Clearly, you just have to take, oh, ten levels of monk. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's removed, I think. So that's changed in a uh, new edition. Don't just get blanket immunity to poison very often from monks now. So are you traveling up the uh, northeastern path? I believe so. Are right, we heading? Here's how I think I'm heading. Where I go from there, I don't know. Is the party okay with going back to that section? Yeah. That seems like the plan. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. That's like a little faster than I thought. Well, I have to do some revealing. Revelations. Alright, as you walk back to where the stairs go up and then go down, much to Gulliver's uh, frustrations. You Just side-eyeing it. You do see a path towards a larger room towards the north. So, should we check out this level first, you think? I don't think the Gorgon can fit in here very easily, to be fair. So we should be safe-ish in here. Yeah, feel relatively safe here. So, what do you want to do, Eco? Head north or head down the stairs? Down the stairs. Well, Alright, go over. I don't mind. Sounds like a plan. Well, I guess we're going down the stairs. Alright, now it's time to throw out all the other encounters I have planted in this area. <laughs> I'm sitting on Gulliver now. <laughs> nah, it's fine. You're just on you just shoulder. I I yeah. up there. I legitimately expected you guys to just head down to the second level. Yeah. If, uh, the gamer part of me wants to look around and get mm -hmm. everything. Like, this group really has been playing that way. Just, yeah. No. We've been kind of doing nonsense. Like, yeah. Let's get this done. Pretty much. 
I feel it would have been too meta to explore around unnecessarily as Gulliver. And we found cool stuff, so... And we didn't take it. I think we took most of the cool stuff here. Yeah, here. It's just everywhere else we didn't take all the cool yeah. stuff. Yeah. The other stuff was assumed to have been bespoken of. Oh, god dang it. Oh, there was some still some decently interesting stuff. I'm sure. All the cool items are almost always in like the last couple chapters. It's really dark down here. Even my devil sight isn't helping much yet. Hey, I, I have devil sight. I can does. look at the uh, sex scene, right? And Shar's, Shares's caress in BG3? Nope. What much you mean, no? <gasps> uh, Eco's off the grid. Yeah, it's a little. It's essentially like. Just hit alt, basically. Alrighty. Three of you tromp down the stairs. I guess Gulliver needs to go in front of Eco. Uh, hey, Gulliver! The ceiling is uh, 10 yeah. feet high. Um, All the I areas. Uh. Like the the body plate. Sorry. <laughs> I I was about, I was in the midst of saying oh. that the area is well lit like the titual flame spells cast of wall sconces. I don't care. He is shiny now. No. Okay. Eco found their new favorite way to uh, pester me. <laughs> right up the. Day. I mean, it helped last time. <laughs> it yeah. helped last time. It shouldn't have, but it did. You really enjoy making me a nightlight. Yeah, I, I'm just brightening up your day. Oh, uh, dear. Uh, uh, that was pretty good. All right. What would you guys like to do? Well, it looks like our only real option is to advance slowly. All right. All right. One foot in front of the other, but do do do. Soon you'll be walking out the door. One foot. Oh, it was across the floor first. And then the uh, second refrain. Soon you'll be walking out the door. <laughs> I really do like the rank and best stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see. Um, as you walk slowly upwards, you see a three-way intersection. One going north, south, east, and west. Sorry, not uh, south. Which well, you've got a lot north. of options here. Which way you want to go? Ahead, uh, to the right, or to the left? Time to take an arrow, put it on the floor, and spin it! See yourself, you could potentially... Alright, just roll a d8 then. Uh... Uh, I will say, Yosef, just after the three-way intersection, the total wide into an alcove towards the north. Gooey mud covers the alcove's floor and the air is oppressively muggy. I don't think there's anything to the north, really. It looks all muddy and... smells kind of bad. No, it doesn't smell bad. It's muggy, he said. Uh, it's oppressively muggy, yes. Hmm. Either way, it feels like a swamp. Considering the fact that you're dealing with a frog, man. 
Makes sense. Is it his bedroom? <sighs> Pity, I don't think I actually have detect magic, although it's on my spell list. I think that was a mistake. I had it earlier because I uh, had the uh, invocation that guaranteed me that. Mm -hmm. Could cast attack magic. <sighs> Have that innately from Watchers. Well, if you rest there. There could be something, but I don't think any of us want to dig in the mud unless we know there's something there, right? Unless it could also just be a trap. We have pressing matters, and I feel a bit tardy as is with that rest we took. Okay, then. So, left or right? Let's take a left, since you're already heading that direction. Oh, I was just getting out of your way, but okay. Oh. This unfathomable darkness. Are you going to the uh, left? So it seems. Once the unfathomable darkness passes a little bit. Just give me a second, my god. <laughs> Just saying. Had to do some calculations here. See a corner. It feels like a uh, weird map to kind of map out there. Uh, it turns up ahead. I will peek out from around the corner. But be ready to jump back behind it if I see something I don't like. Hang on, I'm doing some stuff here in the background. One second. Yosef. As you uh, turn a corner to get a better view of the room, Uh, you see two mud-caked human-sized creatures standing inert in front of the northern exit to this chamber. Crude, articulated skulls of Badlands wolves are attached to their head, uh, heads. Both guards reek of death. Uh, there's some really weird things in there. They look like they're guarding a door. Ghastly, honestly. <laughs> Heh. Heh, I get it. Do we want to fight them, or...? They haven't spotted us yet. Might be oh, best I think they might have seen me. They just aren't attacking me yet.
Like you so. said, they look like they're guarding something. I mean, we can try telling them that McWaxel sent us. Who? The the, Mc... the frog. <laughs> McWaxel. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I'm not even going to tell the proper pronunciation of his name. <laughs> I feel like that is something Eco would do. Yeah, no. <laughs> we're, we're, we're keeping that. That's canon. Okay. He, he's a frog. You guys have are looking down on him. I feel like who cares if his name isn't pronounced correctly. He's dinner. Whatever. Oh no, Gulliver has a meticulously made little practice dummy for both Hop Skip and Violet the Champion that says his name below it for them to beat up on. Speaking of eco, I did buy some hot sauce today. Ooh. Yeah, they had the uh, hot ones at the grocery store. Was that? They don't look like they're gonna talk much. They have wolf heads. Wolf skulls. Ugh. Without the, you know, fleshy bits. So, Kain, what do you want to do? Well, if we're... Do we want to go the other way, or do we want to fight them? That's really our only choice. Let's check the I other mean, way first. Yeah, let's check the other way, and then we can still fight them. Maybe we find, find something nice to fight them with. I'll bring up the rear in case they change their mind about not wanting to come after us. So there's a lot of weird shuffling. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Shuffle. The awkward shuffle. Excuse me. Two fairly Excuse sizable me. guys trying Pardon to get me. past each other in Excuse a narrow me. corridor. Sorry about that. And of Excuse course, me. with Yosef and Gulliver, they both try to go the same way. At least oh, thrice. Uh, I'll go left. No, no, wait. I'll, I'll go right. Y your uh, left. Oh, no, no, my left. My, my... Your left. Eco, uh, Eco, oh. on the other hand, just flies up ten feet. <laughs> yes, all the ten feet they can fly up in the armor they can't fly up in. But they're a Twilight right? cleric. They have that kind of it doesn't matter. Oh wait, no, this place is well lit. Never mind. We have no more darkness. <laughs> I mean, I was, I was just there, like, well, those two. I was just there, standing there watching. Because I, I'm already where I'm supposed to be, so whatever. I guess you're leading the way, Eco, unless you want to... Okay. I'm not shuffling. <laughs> Eco just wags the finger. I don't shuffle. No, uh, uh... <laughs> I don't do the crab shuffle, I do the bird walk. The block? I only shuffle when I'm rigging the deck. Oh dear. Just waiting for someone to go into the room. Alrighty, Eco, you walk in, you see ritual circles drawn in fine chalky powder covered the floor. Notebook scrolls and brass braziers. That's that one, right? Finally. Sit on the shelves carved into the walls. Uh, this place looks kind of important. So if they're drawn in powder, I can just... put it all away? Pretty much. A little bit of, uh, cleaning up with, you know... <laughs> Go over some of yep. cleaning. Gulliver just takes out an apron, folds it in front of him, has a dustpan and broom already. Did someone mention cleaning? There, all the dust. 
just although just... before we do that we should probably try and figure out what they're supposed to be for maybe yeah can yeah, we also to determine what kind ones. of ritual circle that is i'll leave that to the smart ones which is none of us so come on join in mm -hmm. i have like a plus two to it he's not the dumbest guy you're the they smartest zero. guy in this group Eko and Yosef both have zero int. But Eko does have guidance. I do have guidance. Uh, I'm not using guidance. <laughs> I'm not using guidance. Just Yosef because I be... have it doesn't mean I use it. Yosef will try to help by trying to recall what he can verbally about runes and symbols from years from a couple years back. Mm-hmm. So, I guess Gulliver can roll with advantage and a d4. Sound about right there, DM? Sure. Okay. Arcana, I take it? Sure. Okay, I was about to say, it's either Arcana or maybe History to recall the lesson. Sounds about right. Oh, okay. I'll aim for History then. Ooh. Good start. Then, whoop. Yep. 21. 21. Well, the good news is, is that these aren't actual ritual circles. It seems they're just there for practice. Hmm. wonder what they're practicing for. Uh, what's the bad news? Shrugs. I'm sorry, I, I can't really give away too much unless you guys do something specific and I can't say what the specific thing is. Hmm. I apologize. I As... don't... Yeah, I don't like it, but... It's why I'm being vague. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Gulliver will step forward and touch the circle. Alright. Stand in the circle. I need you to roll nothing. Okay, here. Let me... I, I got you. 1d0? Yeah, no. And then you crash roll 20 for everyone? Yes. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Do not divide by zero. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, does so appear, something uh, happen, or nothing happens? Hmm. It's just a bunch of ritual circles drawn in a fine chalky powder for uh, that you have to do there... to be uh, practice. And along with a bunch of notebooks and scrolls. Any, uh, can we check out the notebooks and scrolls and what have you? See if we can find any clues as to what this yes. might be. Yes. Okay. Can I light the powder on fire? That can wait. Here, Eagle wants to help cause me a take a look explosion. through these. <laughs> sure. But I want to set things on fire. Well, there's two monsters with wolf skulls in the next room. Mm hmm. They Alrighty. look very moderately flammable. Someone give me a investigation check. And if you're being helped, roll with advantage. I will help because I have someone plus zero else invest. could roll a perception check if they're looking for the door. The person who is helping with the investigation cannot help with the investigation. With the perception, okay. though. Perception. I will just help, because I'm not I have zero anything. on perception, zero on investigation, and no special benefits anywhere. Eco, you are too busy messing up this dude's circles. You're not minding his circles. Uh, Gulliver, with a 21, five minutes of reading and deciphering all these notebooks... You've pieced together that Mergaxor is conducting his life-draining ritual 
in the basement of the ruins of Cairdun, which is just a few miles to the north of the fortress Badlands. You will also know that the ritual will be complete in about a week. Uh, Good news, we have more of a time window than I thought. They Bad did. News. They did the thing where I could actually give them information. I'm so Mergaxor is trying to perform the life draining ritual again. Uh, the event so long ago that killed so many students. Oh no. That's bad. So you don't think he's here then? Uh, Gover, reading these, you see in bold, underlined several dozen times, the uh, effects of the life draining ritual will make Mergaxor literally immortal. Oh, it's a ritual to attain immortality. With no f signs of lichdom in it. Oh, that's very bad. I guess we need to go to that fortress. So what I'm gathering is immortality without the need for a phylactery? Yes. Oh. That's astronomically bad. Does he realize what he's found to the others? <laughs> Remember, chat, you can kill a lich because of the phylactery. Well, if there's no phylactery in her immortal. <laughs> Oh dear, that could be very bad. Do we know how far away that uh, fortress north of the Badlands is? In a few miles. A few miles? Yep, it literally just says a few miles. Okay. We could walk that, probably. Mm -hmm. We have time though, so we should be cautious. All right. I would walk 500 miles. Then I'll walk 500 more. Da -da -da. Oh, we can't do that in time. Da -da -da. All right. Yes, Silva and Gulliver, you're pouring over these notes, and Eco, you're just snickering as you're destroying these circles. Um, yes. The wall behind Yosef opens up, and you see a woman. Oh, no. Wearing a mask with purple energy sections. Stares at you silently, quickly shuts the door and runs away. Oh. That was probably not a good thing. Gulliver, give me a history uh, check. A sure thing. 24. Awesome. Um, you remember that letter from Mista and Shira Talzard of the uh, Boros Legion. Have you remembered? Mm -hmm. About an uh, escaped the mage. Blood mages. Known as Yadevi. You were also t told of her description of wearing a mask with purplish uh, energies. May have been her. I did not have that noted. I had the. Uh, I just threw that in right out. now, so don't worry. Okay, appreciate that. That no matches problem. the description from the Boros Legion. That was one of the Blood Mages. Is that bad? Good? I don't. We were tasked with taking them down. On the other hand, you now know that there is a secret door here. Uh, we should probably chase them. Post haste. Let's go. I'm going to try and figure out how to open the secret door. Okay, good. It looks like it just pushes. Correct. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Probably oh. just. <laughs> 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 Out. Do we get yeah. stuck on each other? <laughs> I was right. trying to place my character behind you there. 
<laughs> we both try to go in at once and end up uh, bumping shoulders. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your initiative spot. Uh, let's all roll for initiative while I go. While we take a little quick break, we're going to have to go to the path. Plus three to initiative because we're in mm -hmm. range of a yep. friend, though. Ooh, 21. Not bad. That might be one of the highest he's ever gotten. Uh, by the way, in here, a copper basin on a wrought iron stand rests on the floor in the middle of this cave. A pulley oh, pool of smelly water fills the cave's northwest corner. Actually, my proficiency bonus is now 4, so it's plus 4 to your initiative. Oh, so 23. Alright, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to uh, use the bathroom. Uh -huh. You have advantage on initiative, I yep. believe. From my sentinel shield. Go. Yeah. 18. Yeah. 18. And Eco gets 11. Not bad for a paladin, though. That works for me. for most things, so. Oh, yeah. Dump the artist later, actually. That'd be helpful to have some of his combat music in back pocket. But my life looms. I am back. Before I'm accused of railroading, I'm sorry, chat. It's just that there's certain information that I can give, but the party is the ones who actually have to figure it yeah. out. Well, I probably would have considered checking the circles to also be looking at the. Ain't nothing but a thing. Scrolls. Gulliver's meticulous. I, he would have got to the scrolls and everything eventually, I could not, anyhow. I could not do that soon. It uh, explicitly states characters who spend five minutes or more reading the notebooks and then succeed on a DC 14 investigation check. You. The uh, the circles mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you, this module frustrates me. Yeah, Rick and Morty likes to throw random nonsense that means nothing at the party, too. I mean, rhyme through something, some stuff like that. Like the toilet. I was, just a, I was just a little generous with what people were doing. Wow, they know common in any four languages. Okay, I know that there's a bonus to initiative, but what's the bonus to the initiative? Plus, plus four, four now. Four? So then the eco has eleven. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have twenty-two. And Gulliver has eighteen. Yep. Which is really good. Compared to Missy, who has 
minus one. Minus two. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. 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 <sighs> Very paladin of them. Well, the gas has a better dex mod than the blood mage. I took a break. I'm good. Cool. Okay. Alright, I will ask that you guys uh, give me some moments because uh, there is some stuff that is that does involve this. There's some stuff that deals with this fight. I cannot speak English. Holy crap! Words and things. Alrighty. First up, Yosef. Indeed. Uh, are we supposed to bring her in alive, or...? Uh, Gulliver, it did not state but alive or dead. My... Mission parameters were to take her, the blood mages down. Uh, all right. I'll leave it to you then. And Yosef's gonna shift. Where'd I put it? Here. And he's gonna advance on gas two with his maul. All right, one second, please. Okay, so you did not start your turn in there. So you're good to go. Roll the hit. Make sure I'm getting the right one. Yeah, that hits. And I'll do it again. Hang on. Whoop. Told you, stuff is wonky with this. And I need time to figure stuff out, please. So if you go in and slam your maul into this gas and you blow off its mud armor, revealing its fleshy body underneath like an egg, uh, it seemed that your first attack didn't do as much damage as you had thought. But would you like to swing again? Sure would, chief. But I could also probably smell it now. Oh yeah, it's real bad. Ugh. That barely hits. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, these are awful. <coughs> With your second mall attack, you get right. You cave its abs in. Ugh. But it's still up, isn't it? Oh yeah. Mm. Mm, do I want to walk away and risk an attack? I'm just gonna roll wisdom and decide. Oh! Wow. The smell is just rancid enough that he thinks he wants to get away. So he's gonna step back and let it take an attack of opportunity, I guess. With disadvantage because of your cloak of displacement. Yep. Goes in with a claw attack. Uh, with disadvantage, that is a 22 to hit. Wow. That's rolled like it, it rolls a 19 and a 17. Now well, my AC is 17, so even plus 5, it still hit me. So It gets me. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to use my free cast of Silvery Barbs, barbs and make it uh, roll that again. Yeah, you know what? No. Could, could, could you, it could are get, you... Are you using it? Or no, no, I'll pet. No. Okay. Because the wording, it could still great with that. Uh, well, you take five points of slashing damage. The lowest it can do, because it rolled two ones... Okay. And now I need a constitution saving throw. May regret this. Oh, whoops, ignore the plus three, so I guess I fail. You are now paralyzed. Mm. Yep, and I guess that means I'm stuck here. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, very bad. You also, if you try to get away from the smell, the uh, claw gets past your uh, displ cloak of displacement, and you go down the unable to move and if a mask could smile the human behind the gas just smiles in glee Gulliver your turn uh huh Yusuf just showed you how bad these are yeah you did get a really good hit in though hmm I hate that Itami is last of the turn order. <laughs> is this an actual movable space north of the uh, Yosef there? Because that's iffy. Nah. Nah. Okay, Doki. Okay. Uh, you could fit there, but it would probably be the whole squeezing rules. Eh. Hmm. Well, not great. Uh. Yep, Gallagher's gonna move up beside you there, Yosef. And then... Yes, standing there real stiff. Mm hmm. Like when he's doing public speaking. Let's hit that same gas with some more hammer action. Gas two? Okay, do your thing, Paladin. Yeah, that 19. hits. Nineteen. Hey. Bye. Nah. My mouth, you see. <laughs> then I second burst segment is the first Warhammer attack again oh that hits 11 and let's burn a smite second level extra D8. yeah so that's 48 
because it's undead. 48 on the second level? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Wanted to clarify. Whoop. Well, it's 2 3d8 regular on a second level, and you get an extra d8 because it's undead. Mm hmm. Whew. Big damage. It is still alive, though. Mm hmm. <sighs> Then I'm going to use that bonus action to prep the use of a scroll for a reaction. That would I have don't to think be you a can do that. That would be a full that, action, sorry. We, but we Okay. I I'm sorry, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Using an item costs a whole action. I know I remember that much. And ready. Mm, it's more than. What about a reaction spell scroll, though? Because talked about that. What's okay. the reaction? My... Silvery Barb is a scroll. Because you had told me that I need to prep the scroll to use the reaction. Hmm. This is a weird one, because when you ready an action, it takes up your whole action. But you're using something that requires a reaction. Da, 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 da. Well, to be fair, that was over a year ago that I messaged you that. Okay. By the way, my cloak of displacement will not work this turn or next turn. Mm -hmm. Is it because you're paralyzed? Uh, this property is suppressed while you incapacitated, restrained, or otherwise unable to move. Oh. I mean, it was deactivated because I got hit this turn anyway, but it won't come online at the start of next turn either. Yeah, no worries. I'm slowing down gameplay. I'll look it up later. They get advantage on me. All right. Okay, so according to D and D Reddit, it says you can use a reaction spell scroll as a reaction by reading it. But someone has stated that it needs to be in your hand to use, right? So I guess the question is, will you count him pulling out the scroll and as a free object interaction or not? Uh -huh. I know this may be slowing down combat, but I want to rule this fairly. Because it's weird. You can tell him no, and then the scroll is kind of useless half the time, or you can let him do it. Those are your choices. The issue is, is there's also the whole thief subclass whose whole shtick is using mm -hmm. items. Yeah. How many thieves have been are at this table right now? Zero. Then don't worry about them. I did, 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 did. And if, even if Yosef dies, I probably will not bring a thief. Because I remember mentioning that if you didn't want me running any reaction-based scrolls, I won't buy any. When I was purchasing the scrolls. And you said that you were... Where is it? In the end, it's just your call as a DM.
I think I'll have to say no, simply due to the fact that both of your hands are currently full with one Warhammer and one shield. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Sorry. If you drop your shield and prepare a spell scroll, that can definitely won't just happen. So, I, I'm sorry, Mace. Mm. I was just focused on, like, you have one shield of one weapon in hand. How? Yeah, that's what I was trying to clarify when we had that discussion earlier. I wouldn't have bought the Silver Barb scroll otherwise. It's also really weird because it's a reaction scroll, but... Uh... If people think I'm being unfair, I apologize. Uh, da, 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 da. Is uh, that the end of your turn, then? Yeah. Not Alrighty. using any bonus action or anything. Gast one is going to try to hit you, Gulliver. Sure. You know what? It actually doesn't have a negative intelligence, so it's going to move over. Now nah, that's a thing. It's just going to stay. Oh, I hate it when enemies just have to stay in one spot. Let me make a move. Terrain says no. Yeah. Uh, does a soft twenty hit you? It does not. Okay, well, that's the end of its turn. Uh, it's now Gas 2's turn, and he sees a uh, lovely flesh in front of him, right for the picking. Not mm -hmm. moving. I'm also yeah, gonna impose. I'm gonna impose disadvantage, making that a normal attack roll with my fighting style, my defensive, my uh, da -da 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 -da. protection. Interception. Intercept. No, wait, no. Interception was what uh, our other paladin has. All oh, right. Very similar. Protection. Uh, cl just click into the chat. Long ass list. Where is my fighting style? I think it should be near the top. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, but I'm not. Oh, there it is. Fighting style protection. Aha. Uh, yeah. Wielding a shield's my whole thing. I'm not dropping it. Honestly, this was probably better than silvery barbs in a way. Mm -hmm. Now it's just a straight right. roll instead of advantage. Om nom nom, that is a soft 20 to hit you there, Yosef. Yep, crit! Alright, so it's going to uh, bite you with that. So that is 4d8. Okay. We don't have to make any more saves for that particular one. Let's see, that was 11. So you take 23 points of piercing damage as this thing leans down with its long tongue and starts to eat you. Alright. Gulliver, you try to parry it, but unfortunately his head was just a little too fast. Eco, you are up. <laughs> Um, I will use my action to cast Freedom of Movement on myself. Okay, what does Freedom of Movement do again? One hour... Surprisingly not concentration. That's awesome. Yeah. Movement is unaffected by difficult terrain. And you can't be paralyzed or strain. Cool. Alright. Yeah. And I'll use my bonus action to summon my spiritual weapon. Unfortunately, you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> Level spells. Cannot. Yes, if it's a... You could do spiritual weapon as a bonus action, but if you want to do a attack spell, it has to be a cantrip. So, you so, cannot use a level... Two level spells. That's why uh, it took you so long to set up last time. Yeah... Well, one of them has already taken damage, right? So I can still use Toll the Dead. Yeah, that's also that's an, action. an action. Do you have Quicken Spell somehow? Oh. Mm, yeah, you have your bonus action and movement left. Hi, everybody. Yeah. It's been almost two months since we played. I, I feel horrible because it feels like I'm being mean by denying you, but I'm like, I'm sorry. Dims the rules. Yeah. We can throw them away if we want. But 
but I don't think it helps this time. If you would like to take back your freedom of movement spell, Eco, I will allow that. No, I'm not taking that back. Would have been nice to use on someone who's actually paralyzed. You do have I the mean, option. I mean, it doesn't say that I it it takes the paralyzation away. From I can't you. be paralyzed or restrained, so it would end it or at least suppress yeah. it. I mean, maybe. For the duration, the target's movement is unaffected by difficult terrain and spells and other magical effects that can neither reduce the target speed nor cause the target to be paralyzed or restrained. So if you cast that on me, I can't be paralyzed by this effect. Yeah, I'm still casting it on myself. Fair enough. Alrighty. Mm, let's see. I don't think I have anything that is a bonus action. Not a leveled spell, at least. Yeah, I mean, if I if I cast my spiritual weapon at some point, can I attack with it as a bonus action? Yes. Is, does it still count it's as just, a leveled spell? It just just when you cast it is when it counts as okay. a leveled spell. Okay. Okay. Nice. Here, we'll give you the hand grenade because. You you aren't able to uh, be restrained. What hand grenade? A symbol for your token to remind us what's going on with you. Ah. Uh. Alrighty, Eco, is that the end of your turn? Uh, looks like it, yeah. Okay. It is now Yudemi's turn. As a bonus action, the large, she's going to use her bonus action to. Activate Sanguine Tentacles. Sanguine Tentacles, you mean? Yes. Leave me alone. I pronounce things weird. <laughs> People got on my case for pronouncing ambulance as an ambulance. They should. I told them it's because I'm from the south. Uh, let's see. Ten foot. No one I know pronounces it that way. No, I no live in the south. I'm, I'm from the boonies of the boonies in the south. I really am. Mm. We're talking about like Most an hour. Most people just I know overemphasize to you, make it an ambulance. That's not it. There we go. Hmm. Do I, do I, do I, do I, do Is it a 15 foot cube or a 30 foot cube? 10. It's a 10 foot cube centered at a point on the ground. More like. Fastest way would probably be. Yeah, just drag the box where you want it. Awesome, thanks. Alrighty, um, for her bonus action, the uh, blood in a the brazier drains, and tentacles of congealed blood fill up the cube around where Gulliver and Yosef are, right in front of you, Eco. The it's basically Evard's black tentacles. Well, if there's a deck save involved, I fail. Ugh. There will be one, and that will be on your turn. That is her bonus action. It is now well, the beginning of my turn or the end of my turn? I'll let you know. I'm. I told you this fight is quite a bit going for it, and I need to concentrate here. I'm sorry, Sumer, but when you're asking stuff that's when it's not relevant, it's throwing me off and making me very confused.
is interesting. Alright, so they're going to do th their uh, blood boil move. And it is 20 foot radius sphere. That'll work. I think. Abby doesn't remember his geometry classes. Uh, I need a constitution saving throw from everybody. Pray and to God that you guys succeed. And you guys have a plus three to a saving throw. Only for Yosef. Yep. And Gulliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, only Yosef and Gulliver. Already calculated. Failure! Maybe? Maybe not. Alright, good news! All of you succeed! Bad news! You're it still, still taking. Uh, yeah, because. Uh, so you guys are taking half of 7d10 necrotic damage. Jesus. I may not survive this fight. How many? 7d10 necrotic damage. All right, so you're 20. taking 20, and the good news is, none of you are incapacitated. Mm. Well, I, I technically am, because I believe I paralyzed his incapacitated as well, but not because of this. Also, the good news, if you, if, if you're reduced to zero hit points, you automatically die. Well, is that depending on the save or not? Um, it has nothing to do with the save. Oh, mm. yeah. Hopefully they don't do it again. This is a nasty creature. Uh, Gulliver, you just got hit with this. You're just like, oh, this is why they want them. Okay. That's very bad. Much yeah, bad, it is. Bad. Ouch, ouch. Mm. Welcome to high level. Alright. That is her turn. We are back up to, uh... Actually, you know what? She's just gonna back off here for a bit. And now we are back up to Yosef, and... Starting your turn in there, you need a deck save, because you are paralyzed. Fail. You failed, so that would be, uh, 3d6 bludgeoning damage. <sighs> yep. Now I believe I need to make two constitution saves. That's 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Alright. Pretty sure it's not doubled from your paralysis. No, that's only attack rolls within 5 feet. Cool! Thank god! But now I believe I need to make a constitution save at the beginning of my turn, and a constitution save at the end of my turn. Uh, Constitution beginning from what? Uh, I'm in range of the cast. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do need a con save. There's one. I think that's a You pass. succeed. You're not poison. And, and you're now immune to the smell. All of a sudden, it doesn't smell that bad. And now I need to do another one. This one's more important. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's a fail. You are still paralyzed! Yep! This is All not right, good guys. for Yosef! Nope! She hits us with that blood boil again, uh, I might die. Gulliver! Your turn! Ow! <gasps> Yosef, stop we... moving! I need another- I need a deck save from you! Mmm. 
Alright, you are not restrained by the tentacles, but it is still rough terrain. Mm. Uh, also, Sube, if you could take that 13 damage back. Huh? Why not? Uh, a creature that starts its turn restrained by the tentacles take the bludgeon. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure. The creature must succeed on a dexterity take or take 3d6 bludgeoning damage and be restrained by the tentacles until Ooh. the spell ends. Any creature entering that area for the first time on a turn or starting its turn there must succeed on a dex save or be restrained. A creature uh, that starts its... I think you're reading its... the new spell. No, uh -oh. I am not. A creature Is that this... starts its turn restrained by the tentacles takes the bludgeoning damage. Ah, so it's not entirely a reflavored. My apologies. Evard's black tentacles. It works kind of similar, but it is different. Well, so, then I guess I'll take that next turn. Yeah. Uh, you are restrained and paralyzed. But hey, <laughs> the bright side is, is that at least you got your 13 HP back. That's probably yeah. not going to matter in a few minutes. Depends. Go over. Your turn. You are not restrained. I'll go ahead and add a token for my restrained. Thank you. In case one wears off before the others. This gas just took almost a full force of uh, smite from you, and it's still standing. Mm -hmm. And it took and a Yosef lovely, nice bite out of Yosef, and it looks like it wants more. The other one still yep. has its muddy armor. Hmm. Oh. Also, Sume, I'm Eco. sorry if I shut you down really forcefully like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch after Yosef. He's gonna run up to that blood mage. Oh no. Oh boy, that's two attacks of opportunity. Did they get advantage? No, they don't get advantage. No. They would have been leaving the range. Oh, also, range. Gulliver, I forgot the state. Uh, I needed a con save from you real fast. I think you need two. Well, we yeah, if... two. First one, uh, you no, succeed. No, no, I don't... Okay, I was about to say, I don't have the plus three on you do. the roll there, but... You do. Uh... Oh, that wasn't a save, that's why. Yeah, I need con save. Oh, yep, never mind. Yep. That'd help. And two of them. That'll work. Yeah, you're immune to the smell. Okay. Alright, now your attacks of opportunity. we we'll go with gas number two first. With his claws, that is a... 19 to hit? Nope. Alright, and now gas one with his claws, that is a 7. No. Me. I'm gonna hit this mage with my warhammer. Real hard. Uh, yeah, that hits. Smite level three. Level three? Alright, let's do it. Boys, 48. They are human. Yeah. Wow, they're immune to exhaustion. Mm hmm. What do you mean, syntax error? Oh, I accidentally did a second net minus. Alright. And then. Warhammer strike again here. As long as uh, I'm not jumping the shark. No, go ahead. Okay. I already calculated damage. That hits. And this isn't concentration for her? Nope. This, uh... Mm. Ouch. Yep, it lasts for a certain amount of time. Eh. Hey right, guys, have fun. I hope I live. I may not. No smite there. Might as well. 
second level. This mage is a problem. Did the Boris Legion send you? As he puts a small smirk gun, flashes the Boris Legion emblem on the note. Your crime stop here. All right, Gulliver, is that your turn? Oh. You do a charge blade slide back and slap yourself with a shield in the face. I'm debating on that, actually. How much I've burnt movement wise because that was difficult terrain. Yep. That's 10. You 15. can get back here between the ghasts. That would be able to touch me. But you wouldn't be in the the pain zone that I'm in. Yeah. You know, I do like that idea. By the way, that charge Cause... blade slide attack is fantastic. Yeah. Bonus action, shield of faith. Yosef there. Alright, uh, Yosef, you're protective, protected. And my primary concern there, he's back in my aura. Uh, let's see. I assume if the thing is a melee spell attack, do they still do a reaction attack of opportunity? Uh, not unless they have, like, Mage Slayer. Or, or Warcaster. Warcaster, rather. If that's... It doesn't, but it's their primary attack. Mm. As in, like, they don't have anything else but this. Mm. If it's an actual spell, I'd say no. If it's, like, a special ability that's a spell attack? Yes. Mm. Then maybe? to see what the stat block itself says, but obviously shouldn't look at that right now. Yeah, I'll you can yell you, to... you can yell at me later. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Might miss entirely. Oh yeah. Then it won't matter. <laughs> yeah that, that that's a 13 to hit. Yeah no no <laughs> doesn't matter. Only thing that's on is their reaction. They probably yep. weren't going to use it much for and anything else. Enough. Do I think I had enough movement to actually just kind of Move back so I'm not being flanked, but eh, no. Alrighty. Culliver, is that the end of your turn? No, no that's think... that's the full movement. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's that's it. Alright. It is now gas number one, and it's going to attack you, Gulliver, with advantage. Hmm. Does a 21 hit you? It does not. Wow. And uh, now gas number two is going to hit Yosef. I'm assuming you want to use your protective fighting style? You are in range to do that. I am. But I'm debating if I want to save my reaction for a possible counter spell. But the auto the crit's too important there. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. All right, straight roll paladin. then. Straight roll. Uh, that is a soft twenty. Still hits. Oof. By one. Uh, or by two, technically. Can I silvery bark? Are you within <laughs> range? I think so. It's sixty feet, right? It's sixty feet. Then yeah, they're definitely in range. All righty. Uh, what? Who would you give advantage to, Eco? Uh. Well, Yosef can't really do much right now, can he? Nope. I mean, nope. It, it does give an advantage on saving throws as well, rather than just attack ability check and such. 
Yep. Unless yeah, someone let's... give unless someone gives me gets me out of this paralysis or somehow. You can also give it to yourself. I always forget. Oh, and by the way, you can walk through this area with no concerns. Yep. Yep. That's why I did it. Like you can't even be restrained by them. <laughs> yep. That's why I did it. No, you did it so you wouldn't be paralyzed. This wasn't up when you did it. So, uh... Well, I did it for, like, the benefits of not being restrained, of course, and also just walking without any difficulties. Alright, who are you giving advantage to, Eco? I'm... Uh... Probably, Keep... since Yosef can't really do much. I mean, for saving throws... Are you at the saving throws already? I mean, he... Can he get out of paralysis by himself if your rolls high enough it, yes if yes it's just keep in mind does it i'm still burning my whole turn too? to do that does Ooh. that advantage apply to that too it would if that comes before anything else if the mage hits me with something that requires a saving throw i can actually make i would have to burn the advantage there you want me out of paralysis you got to do something actively so I mean, I'm still giving the advantage for to you because you seem to need it the most. It won't do me any good. It really won't. No. I mean, on, on saving throws? Nope, probably not. I'm either going to be hit by a save that I can't do anything about or probably the nothing if they target Gulliver. Just going to be honest, this encounter uh, seems to be very anti your substance. Okay, then I'm giving it to Gulliver. Alright, Gulliver, yeah. you have advantage. Now I should do the reroll. Well, that may have saved your life because that is now a 14. That will miss. This thing tries to bite you again, Gulliver. Put the spirit. You also put the shield and of faith, the shield of Gulliver, and the silvery bars of Eco combined to protect you. Eco, you are up. Your reaction is back. What would you like to do? Uh. Well, I'm sorry, Yosef, but I'm casting my spiritual weapon so I can do something in the future. My mouse is dead. One second. <laughs> what is dead? My mouse. His mouse Computer is dead. mouse. Oh, the mouse. I have to plug it's it. Weak. In. Bring out the torch. At level two. Where would you like it? Um, maybe one higher. So right in so front, kinda... behind gas number two. Yeah, yeah. All right, roll to hit. <laughs> you do have it? It does not have advantage because it's a component. Which is a shame. Uh, where is? Weapon. Yeah, that hits. Seven. This ghast is still up. How in the world? Uh... You still have an action. Yep. So if you want to cast a cantrip, you can. If I cast a cantrip on that one, can I cast it past Yosef? Uh, what cantrip are you looking at? Are you looking at Toll the Dead or Sacred I mean, yeah, Flame? Toll the Dead. But uh, yeah, that, that should be work. possible since it's a bell. Yeah. It could also be effective on your Demi. Because she also took damage. Oh, yeah, true. But there is a ghoul, uh, sorry, not ghoul, a ghast in front of Joseph. Mm -hmm. Rue. Um, uh, yeah, I guess we'll 
take out that one first, or try at least. So told it that it is on that one. The guest? Yeah. Alright, wisdom save, 16. Oof, that 2d12. There's a zero that fails for four damage. Unfortunately, probably it's going to get sent. It is still alive. This thing is tanky. Well, uh, can't wait. If I do stuff with my cantrip, I can use blessed strikes and strike again. Uh, blessed strikes? You can apply an extra d8 damage, I think. Yeah. I believe so, yes. You can't attack again. Yeah, I mean, the extra damage. Um. So feel free to roll to d8, then. Three! Against all odds, this thing is still alive. If, if it has one HP, I'll laugh, cry. Oh, it's got more than that. Okay. Th there's something that happened with the mud armor around it that I will probably tell you after this session. Alright, Eco, is that your turn? Uh, I think so, yeah. No movement? Nah. Alright, everybody, pray. Because now. now I have to roll uh. something. Oh, a d6 to see if she does a thing again? Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. She rolled a two. She rolled a two. You guys are fine. I don't want you guys to die. <laughs> I'm not fine. They might be, but I'm not. Well, there's only one person that she can really attack, and that's you, Gulliver. So she's going to hit you. At least try to. Mm-hmm. Woohoo! That rolled out. Uh, that is a soft 20. That does not hit. No, sir. That is a 16. That also does not hit. Man. <laughs> High AC tanks. They suck when you have only two hit attacks. Uh, she's it's a little odd good. for a mage. It's all she has. It's just a melee spell attack. No, I wouldn't say all she has. Oh, it has a reach of ten feet. So she could. She could have just been like here. I'd then. like an opportunity attack. No, I'm can't because you already use your reaction. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm joking. You'd have to be here to hit ten, one over to hit ten feet. Yeah. Either way, she did back up. Yep. Alrighty. Uh. Joseph, it is now your turn, and now you will take the uh, three six da bludgeoning damage from the tentacles. You want me to just take the thirteen from before, or you want to roll damage again? I'll roll again because it might actually be lower. Might be higher. Uh, it's actually the same. <laughs> two two <laughs> six, <laughs> two sixes and a one. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. Um. Now it constitutes a saving throw to see if you can be, no longer be paralyzed. You do have advantage. Oh wait, no, that was given to, uh, Colin. Yep. Yeah. Fuck a computer's I pass! Out. You are no longer paralyzed! I am what? restrained, though, and you cannot do You are still anything. restrained. Because my turn is over. Yep. Yes, it so, does require you to spend an action to become unrestrained. But the good news is, is that you are no longer paralyzed. And that's Gulliver. the big one. Get away from me. Alrighty. That is your turn. Gulliver, you're up. You I have a take... You are... I don't what? You are, uh... Empowered by eco silvery barbs. Get away from me. Uh, Sorry. Sorry. I'm like really excited right now, so. 
stumbling and interrupting people. My apologies. Brain is going faster than the mouth can keep up. Get away from me, he says. Shh. Here we go. I don't get paralyzed again. I think I'll just walk away if that happens. I think uh, any chance of me contributing to the fight is uh, done at that point. Please don't walk away. That makes me feel terrible. Oof. I mean, it's true, though. Yeah, but that's like... It's the dice. It's if... not your fault. I don't care if it is the dice. It still makes me feel awful. Sorry, I'm... Like, I want people to have fun, but I want to give them a challenge, but if the challenge is making it where they just want to walk away from the table, it feels like I did something wrong. I'll bet the cleric didn't have lesser restoration prepped either. To be fair, no. Ego hasn't really been much of a healing player like Kraut has been. If Kraut was playing this, he you he would have been healing everybody. I mean, he is a life cleric. That's what they're good at. Mm -hmm. If my buddy Salik was playing, he was also a life cleric. I honestly don't know what he would do. Typically not heal. Probably well, smack it with his staff with the adder. Guiding bolt. Uh, anyways. Show mm. me what you made of. As Joseph was saying, to get away from him. Okay. Well, you don't get an attack of opportunity. No. Uh. You run pet. Here you are now standing next to the, the spiritually powered kazoo. Mm -hmm. Gotta do something about that gas that's right there, though. <laughs> it does piss you off, doesn't it? <laughs> hit it! <laughs> you have advantage! That's 25 to hit, yeah. Are you hitting number two? Yeah. This thing is still alive. Smite. <laughs> sure! 3d8? Yeah, we're gonna do a level 1, I guess. Alright, how do you want to kill gas number 2? <laughs> With much fury. <laughs> As he sidesteps, rushes forward, that head of his mace glows with that same lighthouse energy that you've all become... Too familiar with. Space of yours glows with an awesome power. As it hits him clean in the temple, clean, really clean. Ah, wow. Clearly taking off the top of its head. I see both me and Mace both can't speak the proper English today. Yeah, no, apparently not. It's a hard language. One of the hardest to learn. Unless well, it's German, where it has words that are feminine and masculine. Or Japanese, where it has several different ways of saying the word I. Alright. Alright, you have one more attack left. Yeah, let's... Start on gas one. That hits. Alright, let's see. Alright. As you uh, spin your Warhammer around, you hit it hard enough where the mud armor cakes off, but it feels like you didn't do as much damage as you thought you did. Mm. 
Now I can say it, that mud gave him 5 temp HP. Uh -huh. Feels like more than that. Yeah, you guys like blew it more. away in round one. By the way, nah, eh, why not? The mud that you guys found, if you sat in it for a minute, you would have gotten 1d4 plus 1 temp HP. Yeah, but why would we think to do that as characters? True, it's probably also good because after a while it'll actually come back and bite you by dealing 5 necrotic damage to you guys. Yeah. Alright, Gulliver, no go. smiting. Oof. I think we're gonna need a long rest regardless. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably before we walk into the factory. Burn a second. Alrighty, let's do it. 4d8, let's go. 17 points of damage, yeah. Good. Your smite does the maximum amount of damage now that its mud armor has been destroyed. It is now gas number one's turn, unless you have a bonus action and movement to do. I'm still concentrating on Shield of Faith for Yosef, so I don't think I have much in the way of bonus action economy at the moment. Alrighty. You can get further away from Yosef by stepping down one. That but. is fair. Yeah, you did say get away. He was trying to honor that, but at the same time, he didn't want to step too far away from Gask 2 if you were uh... <laughs> about to get hit by it. Possibly. We'll see. Okay. Alright, Gast 1 is going to try to claw at you there, uh, Gulliver. Okay. That is a 16 to hit. No, That's sir. not doing it. Alright. The good news is, is that these things only have one attack. Uh, Eco, you're up. One Gast is dead. Finally. Finally. Well, well, time to attack. I guess if I want to attack with my weapon, I have to move it. Yep. You move up 20 feet so I can hit anything here. Except you. I think. Yeah, I can't get to you. Because I want to hit myself with it. <laughs> hey, you never know. Bonk. It's Eco, you never know. <laughs> you never know! So I can it's an try and hit the mage. Could be trying to pull a Sandman Martin bust yeah. your head open with a 2x4. What? Ah, Sumei's watch <laughs> wrestling. <Why? laughs> no, try I am not. Man. Ah. I was just, you know, letting them know what their options were. Well, I'll try and hit the mage. I always like your torch to be moved. Oop. You can hmm? pretty much move it to any space around them. Aha, they moved it. Okay, moved yeah, it. there. Uh, that misses. Alright, then we're doing... Probably told the dead again. Fine. Now that I have free on the mage, let me see if I have to move. Nope. Take your feet and get this whole cavern. Easy. Nice. So, told the dead on the mage again. Ooh, that is some nice damage. You ring your bell. Um, it seems to have done nothing to her. Hmm. Oh. She's oh, immune to necrotic. Well, blood mage. Yup. <laughs> blood yeah. mage got a blood mage. Is that your turn, Eco? Uh, pretty much, yeah. All right, pray.
Man, I am so bad about the recharge die. It's another two. I was about to say, does that count as a spell effect, or is that just a... I don't what? think it does. The do recharge die? Unique... No, no, no. The effect that you're using as the blood mage. Does that count as a spell effect? Don't think so. What spell I don't effect? I think the... the... I'm fishing for if it's counterspellable. Blood boil? I don't think so. No? Okay. No, it's... It's, it's like kind of like weapon. a dragon's breath. Hmm. Fair enough. So it's pretty nasty. Oh, yeah. I wish I had my reaction initially for those tentacles on. Shit. Alright. What does restrain do? Perfect. I'm going to go up here. And she is going to do a blood lash on you, Yosef, and she has advantage because you're restrained. Yep. Does a 24 hit? Yep. All right. This is going to hurt. Yep. Oh. Because it's 3d10. Okay. I'm just letting you know what you're going to be ex what you're going to be hit by. Whatever, roll it. Well, can I? If you don't roll it yet, can I still use my silvery barbs? Yeah. Then I'll do do that. Okay. Who you want to give advantage to? Yosef. All right. Well, this is still rolling with advantage. Just... It may have saved your life because it's both fours. Four thirteen. Uh, that misses. All right, she's gonna do no, it, it again. Again. She's, you hear a. <laughs> That's an eighteen. Does that hit? That misses just barely. Wow. Yay. Shield of Slave! Stupid Boros. Yosef, your turn! You're going to uh, take your uh, bludgeoning damage now. Indeed I am. That is 14 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. If you would like to get out of this, either athletics or nope, acrobatics. No need. Okay. <laughs> I think I know what you're time. Feeling. The Yosef staple. Thunder step. I think I'll just jump right over here. And that should get me out of restraint. And was that enough to hit you, Demi? It should have been. She was within 10 feet to hit me and she didn't move away. Okay. He was distracted by the fact that she missed. Well, she has a plus eight to constitution saving throws. Hmm. Uh, and she rolls a ten or better? She's got it, but we'll see. That is a sixteen. So she fails and gets hit for twenty-six points of thunder damage. Guess what? That was my bonus action. <laughs> so now, it's hammer time. Uh, Thunder Step is one action. It is? Thunder. Yeah. Oh. oh. Mm. For some reason, I kept thinking it's bonus action. I'm thinking Far Step. Uh -huh. Maybe I should have gone somewhere else in.
All right. Ooh. What else? Hang on. Hang on. I was just about to ask if the, you still want to use your movements and bonus action. Well, I don't want to use my movement because I'll get an attack of opportunity. But I have a potion of greater healing listed. Oof. I'm really curious to, to see how low you currently are right now. Eh, somewhere. Feels scathing. Let's see, greater healing is 44 plus 4, right? Uh, check health resources. open it then. Uh, greater is 4d4 plus 4, yes. Because for some reason my sheet just decided, no. Wait, let me make sure it's in my inventory and not just on my sheet. Yes, I have three of them. I'll take a potion of greater healing. Chug, 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 chug. Because roll 20 just doesn't like how things actually work. It really doesn't. Like, I tried to put a command in for healing potions, but it was just not working. I get it set up, and then, like, the next time I open my sheet, it, it's changed to be an attack roll. Ah! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, damn it! That, I remembered something. I really should have used that. I'm curious as to what that is. You get 13 HP back there, Simon. Guardian Emblem. When I see a critical, I can turn it into a not critical. Yeah, that would've been nice. Yeah. Looks at this, at stream. Remember your magical items, chat. I remembered certain aspects of it. It's not that. Unfortunately, my Cloak of Displacement does not go up this turn. All right, that's a bonus that's action. My turn. Gulliver, you're my up. Turn. You have a gas next to you. Yosef mm -hmm. just appeared next to you. And a thunderous boom. Blowing away the bloody tentacles, which are still there, by the way. An earth-shattering kaboom. Uh, and there's supposed to be a boom. An earth-shattering kaboom. Rough, though. Yeah, he just took back that round of bludgeoning damage. We can't. I can't keep going for very long. Yosef is now out of spell slots, I believe. Uh, is he? he? I, I thought, I thought he... he just cast the one there. He didn't get to play really until just now. Oh, I guess. Uh, yeah, I, my I first must have thing been was thinking a someone. Inside shift. That was during the night. I presume I got that back between. You did. All right, Gulliver. What you want to do? Mm, what? Let's move here. He whips out a spell scroll, kind of shimmies it across his warhammer as it glows with a purplish light as he uses his spell scroll for Wrathful Smite. Ooh, also the crinkling noise. Ooh. And gonna hit Demi with it. Oh. Well, that hits. Now, this is a scroll. So Which spells. we covered was as a bonus action. I did read that part over with the. Uh, no, we're talking about the, the DC. I'm just checking the DC. This is level one. I think it's like 13? I think regardless, I get the damage. Uh, oh, nope. That's only 11. Really? Wow. All right, well, do, roll your d8 first. Oh, wait. Er, it's a d6 because it's a, a smack. No, smack. it is 13, apparently. Oh.
Oh, the, the DC I was reading was for crafting skulls. Sorry. The table uh, wasn't on the... Honestly, this works. Uh, she fails. She's now frightened. Mm-hmm. Uh, you smack her with her warhammer there, uh, Gulliver, and all of a sudden a look of fear has walked. Her, her, sorry, her stance is more like she wants to run away from you because she is scared. The watchful gaze of the lighthouse is upon you. All right, should I s As, smack something again? Yeah, you know what? Let's use my own smite on the undead behind me. Sounds good. Bop. That hits. Yeah. Yeah, but... Another one level. Level one. Wait. That is 16. It is still alive. Mm hmm. Not surprised. We only just chipped its mud armor not too long ago. Yep. Alright, is that your turn? Yep, that'll be it. It is now Gast 1's turn. I'm going to sh shuffle and right. slide behind you there. Did Death uh, One take the damage from Thunderstep? Okay. That's a good question. Sure, I'll roll. That is a 16. It fails, so that's an extra 23. And... 26. It looks rough now. You shook your head in disbelief there, Gulliver, after smacking it, and he was like, oh, yeah, there's the damage. Now it's going to hit you with advantage there, uh, Joseph. It sure is. Lols. Mm. Well, don't even bother, because it was a 9 or a 15. Both miss. I just remember that Gulliver had advantage. Eco, who did she give advantage to for that silver? He once? used it on. Uh, he would have used it on an earlier roll. Mm. Okay. I think it would have been the. Uh, the the raffle. Yeah. All Which right. doesn't change anything. No, it would have just been at twenty-four. Eco, your turn. Gas is looking rougher. Let's try attacking the. No, I mean, I mean, the weapon will attack the mage because it's still behind the mage. Alrighty, hit the mage. If I find a weapon again, that definitely hits. Good. Bonk. With the kazoo. Bonk. Ooh. It's just Guzma's theme kazoo style. Alright, that is your bonus action. What would your uh, regular action be? Let's see. Uh... Eco, cast freedom of movement on self. Also, Eco has not moved. <laughs> yep! <laughs> <laughs> You're immune to this square. Was, you never touched it. Case. <laughs> it was just in case. Look, you uh, guys were too far away. I would have had to move if I wanted you could to have. touch you. Listen, listen. I know. E Keo, you're basically useless from Cursed Cowardly Dog. Nope, not getting out of your chair. <laughs> yes. Which, Stupid has, I, would, I, I didn't have a needs because <laughs> by the time I would have had time to cast this on someone else, Yosef already freed himself. <laughs> no, you could have done it that first turn and then walked away. <laughs> Just leave. Stupid gas to make uh, me look bad. Ooga booga booga. <laughs> <laughs> I love how well that works on so many different levels there. 
<laughs> What's your offer? <laughs> Listen, to be fair, as someone who has played a mage and is also playing another mage, yeah, sometimes you just don't need to move. If you have I, spell I sniper, then the you really don't need to move. Hit the mage with firebolt? Alright. I cast firebolt. <laughs> Let's see it. That hits. Boy, that'll hit. Chunky, chunky fireball. Mm -hmm. And I can roll another D8. <laughs> Less strikes. Yes. Wait, is, that, is it limited to cleric cantrips? It's a cantrip, yeah. No. Oh. It's not a cleric cantrip, though. It's the one you got from your background. Blessed strike required to be cleric cantrips. Oh, does it? I do not know. I have to double check. Hey, I'll have a check. It just says cantrip, I think. One of your cantrips. Well, okay. Oh. Hey, neat. Got some holy fire bolts there. Yeah. Holy bolt. I just yeah, imagine you bl popping out a kazoo. <laughs> and then a fire bolt Shooting a fire bolt out of it. Yeah. <laughs> But could you take damage from one of your clan trips or weapon attacks? Yep. Yeah. I, I just wanted to make sure, because I know in this new edition especially, there's a lot of things where it's very specific. It's got to be from your class. Yeah, they kind of flip stuff around there. Well, we're not I know there was a few of them in this edition, but it's very inconsistent. Alrighty, Eco, is that your turn? Yes. Alrighty. I don't need to move. I'm rolling to die. Oh. Oh no! Well, I have bad news, but I also have good news. Can I silvery barbs? <laughs> oh, you can't silvery barbs this. I think silvery <laughs> barbs has to be d20s. The good news, the bad news is, is that yes, yeah, she does get her blood world back. The good news is, is that she hits a certain point, and honestly, the uh, the fear is actually going to play into this. Um, Yudemi kneels down, hands in the air, saying, I surrender. Please, no more. Well, the good news is, even if she did her blood boil, I don't think there's any way she could use it without moving. Yep. Or not hit her and me. Oh. What if I told you that doesn't matter? Oh, that's nasty. This is each creature of the Blood Mage's choice that it can see. Ugh. It's disgusting! It's a only fire safe fireball with more damage. Uh huh! For free ish. And you instantly die if you're re reduced to zero hit points. Hmm. Which would have totally been possible for Yosef right here. And if you do fail, but don't get reduced to zero HP, you're incapacitated. Until the end of Yudemi's next turn. It's nasty! Right then. Yeah. And it can be shot up to 150 feet. Yosef glances over to Gulliver. Oh, oh call off the gas, waited. please have mercy. You would have had to wait one day because I didn't have Raise the Dead prepared. Yeah, at that point, I'm just not part of the game anymore. Or at least Yosef isn't. Yeah, it would have taken quite a bit. Besides, do you have the diamond for it? I mean, a little bit of work, but. or stealing some stuff. <laughs> Anyways, Yudemi is saying that she does surrender. What do you guys do? Yosef looks to Gulliver for instruction. I want to cast command on this. <laughs> well, your turn's over. In insight, is that genuine? Yeah. Sure, go ahead, insider. Uh, she is looking rough. She is scared because of your raffle smite. Mm -hmm. And she is definitely genuine.
They were unclear as to whether to take her dead or alive. Can't hurt to be on the safe side. And as he works. takes out a length of rope. Right. When you said it can't hurt to be on the safe <laughs> side, I thought you were going to kill her. <laughs> yeah, that's Why? what I said. Like, Waffle. Better be on the safe side and kill Waffle her. Waffle, good paladin. <laughs> Let's be on the safe side. Yeah, well, she can't hurt us if she's dead. Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> better be on the safe side as a lawfully good paladin. Kill the evil. Uh, you never said. Listen, I, I was just only facts passing it with Mercaxor's magic, but I am not willing to die for that toad. I'll come wow, quietly. He does not have any friends. <laughs> I feel bad for him if he wasn't an asshole. Hmm. I'm gonna kill the ghast. All right, I'm going to. Just, if you guys are going to end combat, I will say you cut scene cinematically killed the ghast. Uh, all right. So yes. wait, I can use, I can use the popcorn kernels for this. As popcorn combat <laughs> with Yudemi and her two ghasts comes to a close, <laughs> after the the rest of a minute, the blood tentacles also disappear. And now that Yudemi is tied up, here's where we will end the session for tonight. Tie her up, gagger. Yep, no, no, well, no verb components gag. I could say... No. Not You've yet. lost speaking privileges. <laughs> That's for good people. Uh, I'm going to be sorry. perfectly honest. The information she could have told you already kind of know. Well, maybe we'll deal with that next time. Yeah. <laughs> I will say this. Um, yeah, we'll talk after the stream. Thank you all for coming, everybody. It's great to be back. Will we go on hiatus again? I don't know. Probably. Hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> so I will say it is getting close to both American Thanksgiving and then Christmas. So it's going to be real up in the air for the next month and the month after. So, tentatively, yes, we'll be back, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> I mean, I should be around most of the night, most of the Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, I know I would not be here on the 28th, or the 30th of November, because my little sister has a baby shower. That end, we can't have a session on the, where's that? The 26th of January. Well, that's... Yeah. A while's away yet, but... Our next one will be November 6th. Yeah, 26th of January. I'm on vacation, too. Well, that works out, then. Me and Mace are going to go see a Distant Worlds concert. Heck yeah. Yeah. Along with my older sibling and, her, and their friend. Anyways, stream schedule. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully Fandelver. If not, I don't know. I'll have to ask Missy if she is feeling better because she got a real bad case of food poisoning last week. Uh, Monday, there I will. There's probably not going to be a stream. I got some. Uh, I got a haircut to go to, and that will take a while. Um, Wednesday is also no stream. Parents are going to a pink concert, so I'm going to be staying tonight at their place to keep their dog company because I am. Um, a hundred plus dollars cheaper than doing a kennel for said dog. And Wednesday, or Thursday, we'll hopefully start Tomb Raider Legend. I got the PS2 to work. It just required me jiggling the uh, USB cable. Friday, hopefully, will be Dragon Age Inquisition. I apologize for not streaming yesterday. I was going through some body issues that was just not pleasant. That's all you need to know about. And until then, 
totally do for YouTube people follow me on Twitch at Avia7. Bye bye.